First came darkness, then came space, the Odyssey. Next the stars evolved, so came the universe. However, a planet was missing, Vamana. Landing on Earth came the Vamana Man. Yes, that's right, I am the Vamana Man. Five, four, three, two, one. Vamana Man is coming to Welcome Earth. To Get Earth. ready for action. Off. The Vamana Man. This is where the action is. Yes, that's right, I am the Vamana Man. The most famous man in the universe. Welcome everybody. It's the world famous Vomana Man. Look at this emoji. Yes, he's giving a good wink. You probably want to look at my face. But now we're going to take this emoji off. And we're going to start with the action. Yes, that's right. Welcome everybody. This is the world famous Vomana Man. Yes, that's right. World famous Vomana Man. And don't you forget it. This is the world famous Vomana Man. Ready for action. I hope you're all fighting fit because I'm fit. I hope you've been doing the exercises, brushing your teeth and, and helping out around the house and helping your families as well. And what better way to start the day in the evening and to make a nice recipe. Yes, that's right. The year's 2016 and the Vamana man has come straight from Vamana. Yes, it's time for action because I'm the action man and you know that. It's time to make another recipe. So today we are going to make, yes, today we're going to make Gobi Manchurian. Yes, that's right. A translation meaning cauliflower Manchurian we're going to make. Yes, it's a nice uh, Chinese Indo dish and we're going to be making that today. Yes, so get ready for some action. So now we're going to point out with the famous rot in the melon, uh, we're going to point out some ingredients. Right, first of all, we're going to need the tomato ketchup. You're going to need some tomato ketchup. You're going to also need some, uh, you're going to need coriander leaves as well. You're going to need some oil. Yeah, this is rapeseed oil. You're going to need some the sweet chili sauce here. Um, you're also going to need some sesame oil. Yes, the very good oil, sesame oil. You're going to need some vinegar as well. Yes, that's right. You're going to need some vinegar. And then you're going to need some soy sauce. And we're also going to need water as well. Uh, we're going to need some chili powder. Yes, this is chili powder. We're going to need some uh, cauliflower. I've got frozen ones because I can just put them straight boil them in the water. You can get the fresh ones and cut them up. But, as I said, the Vamana Man is all about speed. Yes, that's right. The Vamana Man is all about speed. Making speed work for you, and it works for me. So it's all about preparation as quick as possible. And then you're going to need spring onions as well. And then you're also going to need some carrots. Yes, you can use ready, uh, ready ca carrots and shred them up. But these are frozen ones, so these are little baby ones. And we're going to need, need some of these as well, carrots, and just boil them up. Um, we're also going to need some uh, one teaspoon of salt. We're going to need one teaspoon of pepper. And we're going to need two lots of ginger garlic. Uh, really famous from the Asian shops, cubes as well. Yes, ginger garlic together, ginger garlic together. And we're also going to need three cubes, three cloves as well. And on top of that, we're also going to need some uh, one, te one teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds as well. And then we're going to need four tablespoons of uh, plain flour as well please um, these are already uh, frozen um, mixed peppers because like I said my minor man's all about speed and you just boil them in the water or microwave them and make them uh, separate them up and these are all mixed colours then we're also going to need one cup of corn flour and we're also going to need one cup of rice flour and then we're going to need two onions as well so these are the ingredients these are the ingredients for today's recipe, so get ready for Gobi Manchurian, everybody! Uh. Welcome, everybody. It's the world famous Vamana Man. Yes, that's right. Now, we've actually done some preparations. As you can see, we've already boiled 
the uh, florets and we cut them into little pieces like these because they come in like a big bundle and you just uh, boil them up and it comes to little bits because these cauliflower bits we will actually use them as a dipping um, batter and then we will fry them as well. So these are the people you need to clean, make them up like this and little small pieces. But remember, first thing first is, uh, the Bomarna man says, wash your dirty hands because there's nothing worse than dirtiness. And before you prepare any dishes, it's always worth making uh, clean hands because everybody's gonna eat your food. And there's nothing worse than dirtiness. So remember, the Bomarna man says, wash your dirty hands. So now we're gonna start preparing the uh, mixture and what we're going to do now we first of all we're going to put in uh, the um, uh, half a cup of the uh, corn flour and then we're going to put in the um, half a cup of the rice flour and then we're going to put in the flour as well um, which was four tablespoons and then we're also going to put in um, we're also going to put in the uh, the pepper and then we're also going to put in the salt and we're going to put in the uh, chili powder which was uh, one uh, one teaspoon and we're also going to put in uh, um, um, we we won't need the uh, the uh, cumin seeds yet but we're also going to need the ginger garlic paste as well so we're going to use one cube of that and one cube of the ginger and we'll leave the other one for uh, later on and then we're also going to need um, we're also going to need um, the soya sauce. We're also going to put in the soya sauce. We're going to put. Um, uh, we're going to put in one, uh, one, two tablespoons of soya sauce in there. That's one, and that's two. Putting that there. Uh, next, we're going to start putting the chili sauce as well. Yes, we're going to put two tablespoons of chili sauce in there as well. Two tablespoons, so that's uh, one, and there's another one or two. Yes, it's all about adding a bit of flavour into the mixture. Yes, to spice up a bit. So that's that done there. And then we're also going to need the tomato sauce. Um, we're going to need one. Uh, we're also going to need one. Uh, one tape, or well, two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. We're going to put in there. That's so one, and then two. Yeah, that's it, that's all been put in there. And now we're gonna do the uh, mixing it up, just a little dry mixture. Um, and we're also gonna need the uh, spoon as well, so just get a good mix right now, just temporarily. And then we're gonna put the water in, in there, and then we're gonna start dipping them up as well. Yes, this is it, we'll just give it a good mix in there, let it just a little mixing, binding as they say, because obviously there's gonna be some moisture in everything and now we're just going to add some water in there just to make it dilute it down a bit and it's just really worth um, guessing it as yourself as long as it becomes a bit watery and not too thick yes that's right so we're going to put some more water in there as well and uh, give it a good mix it's all about centrifusion forces as I said we're going clockwise now now optical forces going clockwise and we're also going anti-clockwise as well and we're doing a famous zigzag as well yes and we're doing the diagonally as well and we keep mixing and mixing and mixing yes until uh, we get a nice um, bit of a sort of nice texture in there this is still just a bit too thick so we're going to put a bit more water in there and obviously the cauliflower would have still a bit of moisture in there as well so um, this should be enough now actually yeah so we're giving it a nice quick quick bit mix so now this is nearly ready for um, uh, uh, for the mixture of the uh, cauliflower to actually uh, put in as a batter so what we're going to do now um, we're going to put the whole lot in there and then we're going to just turn them around. Yes, that's right. We're going to turn them around and just mix it in like that. And if you want you to use your hands, you can do that as well. But I'm a bit clean, so I like to just use a spoon and do that. And uh, this is all it does, what you need to do. Because what we're going to do then is this batter, the, the cauliflower for it, and the gobi manchurian we're going to make now is actually going to form a nice crispy layer on the outside. So it should actually become more crispy a texture. And uh, we're mixing away. Yes, 
mixing clockwise and be careful how you mix these things because we don't want you breaking all the cauliflower. So it's all about patience. If I've got patience, then I'm sure you can have patience as well. Yes, good things are worth waiting for and it's all about mixing. Yes, that's really all mixed up now and uh, now we're gonna start frying them up. And we put the oil in and we've let it boil for a, a couple of minutes and uh, first thing first is safety first. We put the lights on as well. And now we're gonna start dipping these uh, one by one. Um, will be the cauliflower florets as they say. Yes, and if you find the mixture's been a bit runny down, just dip it again, and um, so they got a coat on there. So let this, put, put a few in there right now, now and let it actually um, coat up with the oil as well, let it fry up a bit as they say. So, uh, just doing that now, we're just gonna turn the temperature down a bit, and uh, we're doing the mixing away. Yes, that's right. We're mixing and we're frying as well right now. Yes, we're going to put the extractor on as well. Uh, put it number two speed. And uh, because I don't want any dirtiness smell in the kitchen. And it's all about having a good, um, good aroma around the kitchen as well. So now I'm going to give it a good mix as well. And as you can see, they're getting nice and brown. Yes, it's getting nice and brown. Yes. Brown, brown, brown. Look at that nice brown. Yes, it's looking like a drumstick already. Yes, that's right. And we're gonna we're gonna prepare these uh, dryly. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna just take them out uh, once we think they're ready. And um, and then we're gonna let them put them in another container with the uh, uh, foil as well. Not with the foil, with the paper towel as well. Yes, that's right. So what we're gonna do now? Just give it a quick another mixture as well. Just keep them stirred it in a bit more because it needs more time in it as well. Just a little bit of crispiness as they say. So this is done now and we're taking them out and putting them in there. I can really smell all the mixture, the tomato ketchup in there, the chili um, sauce in there, the soya as well. I mean look at this. From a plain old cauliflower, we've made it into like a drumstick. Now doesn't that look beautiful? You can't even get this in there, any KFC or any McDonald's as well. Yes, that's right. This is a nice vegetarian dish for people who love vegetarian food. Just like me, because I'm a banana man, he's vegetarian. Yes, that's right. A banana man is vegetarian because he respects all life and beings in the, on your planet Earth. Right up all the uh, gobbies, the cauliflower, and they've had a lot of glaze. Yes, they look like a drumstick now. Right, so they're just cooling down, and now we're going to be preparing um, another uh, um, to make the sauce. So what we need now, we need a nice wok. If you can get yourself a wok, if you have to go to China, you can go to go to China, um, or Hong Kong or Tokyo. If you're going your way, if you've got uncle or friends or family in living in Far East. Um, ask them to get buy you a nice uh, wok and if you cannot do that you can go to the supermarket and uh, invest in a nice wok and uh, this the beauty about a wok is you've got two handles one on this end and one on this end and you can actually move this about as well and it actually keeps a nice volume of things so now what we've done we've actually heated up we've actually heated up the wok we're letting it heat up and we've also now put in the 100% um, sesame seed oil. Yes, that's right. Sesame seed oil is a nice uh, um, combination with the Chinese Indio dish to make. So that's heated up. Um, now we're going to put in the three cloves as well right now. I'm just going to turn the temperature down a bit. And that's put in there. We're going to put in one, tea one teaspoon of, uh, of uh, the uh, cube cumin seeds and now we are also going to put in the uh, onions now as well yes we're going to put in the onions now as well so they're frying away and we're going to also going to put in uh, turn on the extractor as well so we're going to give that a good mixture as well yes we're turning stirring away and the cloves will probably pop as well not to worry if it pops out and it's like a popcorn pop as you can see the club is actually uh, made a big pop like that so it's nothing to worry about and um, giving it a good stir like that and uh, we're also going to just finish off this uh, cumin seeds that we just were in here 
pan up to there there. It's not good worth wasting cumin seeds. And we're giving it a good stir right now as well. And we're going to turn the temperature back up a bit and uh, put that on there. And also now we're going to put in the ginger garlic paste as well here. Yeah? Um, once they're microwave or even if you're room temperature, they melt away. And we're going to mix that up now as well. Yes, it's all about centrifuging forces, um, clockwise right now, optical forces going clockwise and anti-clockwise as well, so and the famous zigzag as well. So be a bit patient. And uh, what we do right now is making the sauce and give it a good mixture in there. And while that's heating up now as well, and uh, we also going to put in the uh, uh, the spring onions. Yes, these are all the spring onions. We've washed them and we've cut them into little small pieces as well. So now we're going to be mixing that in as well. Um, don't be afraid of mixing it. Those who just started cooking lessons at school, um, it's all about trying mixing, trying. Um, trying different types of recipes allowed and if you don't try you'll never know what it's like so don't be afraid have a go of all these dishes and you can always have another go again so we're mixing it away and we're mixing it away right now we're going to also put in the peppers as well yes that's right we're going to put in the bell peppers as well they've been there defrosted as well um, we put them in there as well and we're also going to put in these baby carrots as well yes these baby carrots they're really nice these baby carrots and um, it's something a bit different and uh, we're mixing it away and we're mixing it away yes that's right we're mixing and we're mixing and now we're also going to put in the uh, we're going to put um, the vinegar this is the blastmatic vinegar yes uh, nothing but the best and we're going to put in the one tablespoon of this vinegar in here as well so that's one tablespoon in there and we just shut the lid and also now we're going to also put in the soy sauce as well yes that's right we're going to put in the soy sauce as well and one tablespoon of the soy sauce and it's all about having a bit of flat like, color as well yes that's one t tablespoon do you know what i like soy sauce so i'm going to put another uh, tablespoon but it's entirely up to you you can add more or little it's up to you uh, I like soy sauce so I'm gonna put some soy sauce because I like soya yes and now I'm gonna put in the sweet chili sauce as well um, I'm gonna put the sweet chili sauce in there as well um, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of the chili sauce as well so that's one there and here's another one as well yes we're gonna put some in there as well. do you know what I like this as well so I'm gonna put another one as well um, all these all these mixtures um, it's entirely up to you whether you want to add little or more um, trial and error and um, it's all about having a goal so now we're actually mixing it away as you can see the soya sauce actually makes it a nice um, dark color so if you add less it doesn't become that dark but in the meantime if you can smell this aroma it really feels like oriental yes that's right it really feels nice oriental um, flavor and I feel like I'm on a boat right now on the way to the China um, town. Yes, that's right. I feel like I'm on the boat. I'm on the way to China. Yes, going to see the Great Wall of China. And we're mixing and we're mixing. Yes, that's right. We're mixing away and it's mixing away. It's all about trying different types of cuisine, all from different parts of the world. And today I have made you Gobi Manchurian. Uh, it's a bit of an Indo um, recipe and it actually uh, you will enjoy this for many years to come. Yes, that's right. This simple dish you can make for your friends and family who come and see you. Um, maybe in the weekends or if you're having a party as well, this is another favourite as well. Because everybody likes to try different types of fruit. Not the same old thing every week. So it's all about experimenting. As you can see, it's actually really making a nice rich contrast and it's mixing away. So we're mixing away and we're mixing away. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna also add a bit of water as well. Yes, we're gonna put a bit of water in there just to give it a bit of sauce as well. So we're gonna put some water in there right now just to break it down a bit. Um, so when we put the, um, make it a bit lighter as well yes and we put the gobi the uh, cauliflower gobies in there it will actually add a nice uh, sauce as well as they say so this is all about making a sauce 
Yes, that's right. Let's make the sauce. Sauces for gorses, as they say. So we're mixing away, and uh, we're mixing away. Yes, that's right. Do you know what? I'm going to add a bit of more water in there because I want to make sure everybody has a nice sauce. So I'm putting more in there as well. So we're mixing away, and uh, we're mixing away. Be ready to add the coriander as well uh, before we put the uh, the uh, cute the uh, cauliflower in there as well. So we're giving that a nice greenery look in there. Yes, that's right. If you've got a garden, you can uh, get your coriander from your herb uh, collection from the garden. But remember, nothing worse than a slug on there. So make sure you clean the slug as well, because nothing worse than slugging us. So we're mixing the coriander now as well, and. Uh, we're nearly going to be, we're going to be soon now be putting the cauliflower in there, the gobies now as well, uh, which are in the batter. And uh, we're going to put them now actually. Yes, that's right. So be a bit careful um, and not to give it too much stir in it because it's already got a coating of the, the batter on there as well. So we're going to do slightly um, uh, turning over as they say. So I'm slowly putting these in there. Um, be a bit patient because it's quite a high volume. If you're, if you're a small family, maybe you don't need much of this, but uh, it's all about um, trying things out and enjoying um, life to the fullest, as they say. Yes, that's right. Why should you miss out on Gobby Manchurian? If the Vermont man's gonna make it, he can make, then you can make it yourself as well and have a go. Instead of trying it normal, uh, ready-made cooking, cooking from the fish, and we've finished them probably make sure you as you can see and um, we put it on the table now and doesn't that look splendid yes that's right it's full of richness different types of vegetable in there and you can really smell the nice aroma that's coming out of this uh, rock as well so i've actually put myself um off the gobby manchurian and i'm gonna give this a try and see what i think Now that was Marmana deliciousness. And you know what? I'm gonna have some more, because I can. I can taste the batter uh, mixture. I can taste the soy sauce. I can taste the uh, chili sauce. And I can even taste the um, uh, vinegar. Um, and I've got really flavour the richness. Yes, this right. There's such a richness in this simple dish, and um, it's really healthy as well. Yes, the sesame oil which is really healthy as well. And these little dishes, this dish doesn't actually take me long to make as well. And do you know what? That's another cracking recipe the Vomana man has made. I'm sorry to say, but my time is up because it's 2016 and I've got to get back to Vomana. Yes, that's right. The Vomana man works 365 days a week, a year, sorry, and he's busy throughout the year. And mice, and they, they need to be back up Vomana because it's an emergency. And when it's an emergency, I have to go. Yes, that's right. The Vomana man has just made another cracking recipe, but before the Vomana man goes, it's time to do the Vomana dance. So let's get our dancing shoes on and do some dancing. So, but don't worry, I'm going to be back for some more recipes as well. Some wonderful recipes for you to try and have another go as well. So let's get our dancing shoes and do the dancing. Bring the action. When you have some love, you gotta turn the shit up. Remember, I am the world famous Bamana Man. I am the man with the action. And remember, I'm gonna be back for action. See the boys in the club, they're watching us. 